It was a mid-air medical emergency. After eating lunch with family, Dr. Lindsay Ulan boarded a flight from Phoenix to Austin when suddenly she broke out in hives and struggled to breathe as her throat began to close. I recognized immediately what was happening and that I needed an EpiPen as fast as possible to save my life. Something had triggered anaphylaxis, a life-threatening allergic reaction. But the plane's FAA-required medical kit does not include a common EpiPen, and none of the passengers had one. I was very close to dying. Fortunately, the medical kit did contain the required vial of epinephrine and a syringe. Another doctor on board gave her the injection. While every commercial plane must carry a sealed med kit, the FAA has not updated the required medications in nearly 20 years. Now the FAA is considering medical advice to update those kits to include automated blood pressure cuffs, pediatric doses of antihistamines, as well as epinephrine and Narcan to reverse the effects of an opioid overdose. Medical associations are urging EpiPens, but a new FAA rule could be months away. At altitude, flight attendants are the first responders. We will call for medical help, but there's not always people who are trained medically. Flight crews routinely call the University of Pittsburgh Stat MD for an emergency consult, but those doctors are not on board. What is the point of having these emergency kits if they don't have the right things in them to save passengers' lives. Once on the ground, Lindsay needed two EpiPen injections. Now the FAA and airlines are under pressure to carry more life-saving drugs now. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.